Hey guys, for this, let you know that finally it seems like Apple is doing the thing that everyone else have been doing for like quite some time now. And that is OTA updates, over the air updates. So right now Apple, the, the way how you can update your uh, iDevice is you need to plug it in with a USB cable to your computer and then open up iTunes and then you just look for a new update and if you find any update you can go ahead and update. But how Google users that have the Android phone or HP users that have the web OS smartphones they basically get it OTA over the air so they don't have to plug in their smartphone in the computer so why, why hasn't Apple implemented this you know you just uh, yeah they're, they're kinda of slow but it finally seems like Apple could do this with iOS 5.0 we heard this rumor starting in March that iOS 5 could have these OTA updates and what's so good about these updates well obviously it's good because you don't have to plug it in it's it's sweet because you don't like to plug in your stuff now a problem now is that if Apple do this, if they release OTA updates so that you don't have to plug in your, you know, iDevice and your computer to update, th there are two problems right now. The first one is that the updates are kind of like too big. Like the updates now, kind of like 600 megabytes. If you want to go ahead and download that, that's that's a huge file. It's going to take some time. But I, I think that they're going to, you know, reduce the size of these updates and possibly not just, you know, release the whole iOS all the time, but release just some bug fixes or bug patches, you know. So they're probably not something that they're going to do. Also, they need to have some kind of backup system because right now in iTunes, your iOS device is getting backed up. So let's say a, you have an over-the-air update and then it fails to update. You need to have some kind of backup system. So possibly the Apple do some kind of cloud-based backup system. You know, we've heard the rumors that Apple bought iCloud, that domain. So probably they need to do something like that. So we also have a little mock-up here on how it could look like when Apple do this. And obviously many people are going to freak out because everyone's just going to click accept and don't even think about jailbreaking stuff like that if you have a jailbreak everyone you know sometimes you're just going to click on accept you don't think about it but yeah many people are going to be sad because they clicked on accept but a new iphone version 5.1 obviously we're probably going to have like a new notification system this seems to be the old one but it's cool see you.